Hello and welcome to another bonus episode of Hockey Inside Out. Now we know Kirby Doc is done for the season. Uh, he has to undergo knee surgery to repair his torn ACL and MCL. So let's just hope that is the only major injury that the Canadians will have to face this year. But that probably won't be the case. If someone else is injured, who do you think that they should be calling up from Laval? We have Yoel Armia, who was sent down to Laval. He's got two goals through two games. And Joshua Hua, he's got two goals and two assists in those first two games. So who's on your radar when it comes to call-ups? Rick, since you're the president of the UL Armia fan club, uh, I would like to know, will you be going to pick him up in Laval to bring him to the Bell Centre? No, I don't, you know, sorry to say no, I will not be picking him up uh, from Laval. He's, um, yes, he scored a couple of goals, good good for him, but I think that his time in Montreal is uh, is kind of running out, and I would sooner see them come with a guy like Jonathan Waugh that uh, is young, got some great potential to be a really good player. And, uh, you know, he's uh, he's playing well and he might be uh, needing an opportunity to see uh, what he can do in the big league. And um, uh, I, I'm hoping that that will, uh, will play out, that he will get an opportunity because I, I like, like this kid. Yeah, I think uh, Joshua Waugh, if after 10 games he's still at two points per game, then uh, he's not an American Hockey League player and he needs to be in the NHL right away, right? That says he's he's go- he's game. Uh, I know Carl Alsner did an interview uh, about a week ago saying that if uh, UL Armia wants to, he should be the best player in the AHL, like by a significant margin. He has the skill level, the body, the fitness, the experience to be the best player in that league. So if he plays that way... I could see him earning a call up. Uh, Emil Heineman is the guy that I would have called up first, but then he got kneed in the head by an official. So now he's out with an injury. I, I feel like it will probably be Armia just by the fact that he's a veteran. That makes the most sense for them. And Joshua Waugh, I think you want to let him marinate as much as you can. You don't have to yo yo him around. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, with Armia, when they sent him down there and he cleared waivers, I don't know if they see him at all in their future now. Like, I think. They know who he is and what he is. And, you know, he scored two goals the first game in Laval. He might disappear now for a month, which is what happened when he was with the Canadians. Uh, I'm sure it was a bit of a, it should have been a wake-up call for him, uh, not just that the Canadians sent him down, but also no other team in the NHL wanted him because of that contract. Um, but Joshua was a guy that um, he's part of their future. And uh, he's a good pick. He's a kid who's – it's funny because he was the number one pick in the Quebec Junior Draft. And then he sort of – didn't work that hard and needed a kick in the pants. And when he got that kick in the pants, it really boosted him. And then, you know, he went to Team Canada, played for the World Juniors, played on Connor Bedard's line. And it's sort of that kick in the pants with Army has never really worked, right? And But with Joshua Waugh, since, ever since then, he struggled the first couple of years in junior, bounced back, led the Quebec Junior League in scoring. The Canadians took him with a late-round pick. Uh, ever since then, he's done everything right. Uh, the goals he scored in Laval have been goal scorer goals. He's part of the future of this team. So I think it's, it's that your way, do you, do, is he better developing down there? Or we better bring him up here. But I think the way this team's going now with the injury to Doc, it's, you know, I didn't think before the season this team would make the playoffs. Without Doc, it's, it's basically impossible. So I, think, I don't think they'd hurt Wah uh, by bringing him up here and letting him play with the Canadians, at least for a few games, and see if he's ready. And if he's not ready, you can send him back. But that's the guy I would be calling up first. I wouldn't be surprised if they try Elias Anderson either. I think he's at a point in his career where he really needs to prove uh, that he can be an NHL player. And he's got two goals in two games so far for Laval. He's a little bit more experienced than Joshua Waugh, and they don't have to run the risk of shattering any confidence, right? Because if Elias Anderson shows that he can't play in the NHL, well, that's no big deal for the Montreal Canadiens. He was not a big uh, expensive thing to go out and get. He, they haven't put a ton of development time into him. So if, if that situation doesn't work out, they can then try Joshua Wall without any risk. Yeah. And Anderson got that connection to Kent, the, the no, no, Jeff Gordon also for, uh, from his days back with the Rangers. And everybody's on, I think on the same page, it's, it's all about developing your youth and uh, you know, the patient's level has to stay there and, these these kids will only get better with the opportunities to play, and then you can you know make judgment uh, with time. But they 
the bottom line out of all of this is uh, the young guys have to play. They have to be used in different situations. So find uh, find that right fit and then uh, just run with it. And, you know, with the potential of some of these kids to become good NHL players, you have to uh, you have to work with them and let them progress in a good way and handle them each each one differently. But the bottom line is you want to get them better sooner than later. And, uh, you know, time and playing situations will help that process. We've talked about the power play problems with the Canadians and Joshua Roy might be able to help them on the power play also. All right. Well, let us know who you would like to see called up from the Laval Rocket. Leave it in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Hockey Inside Out YouTube channel. And that's where you can find our full episode. Thank you.